The C-peptide tests determine if we're at risk for diabetes? Not exactly. I mean, but it's close. It's mainly used to determine what kind of diabetes we have, because there are more than just type 1 and type 2. One of these tests usually requires a blood sample, but sometimes it can be done with a urine test. You would need to collect all of your urine within a 24-hour period, which is why doctors normally prefer the blood test. Plus, can you imagine if you forgot to collect some pee throughout the day? Well, you're in trouble. <laughs> we would need to fast for 8 to 12 hours before the test, and it can take up to 5 days to get the lab results back. The normal result typically falls between 0.5 to 2.0. Now, a lower number could mean that we're not making enough insulin, and then a number that's really high could mean that we're insulin resistant. And these tests can also be a way to screen for kidney failure or pancreatic tumors or something called Cushing syndrome.